And Crime Tracker 10. If you've ever had your car broken into, you know just how frustrating it is. Now, dozens more know that feeling after last night. As Crime Tracker 10's Lacey Crisp explains, dozens of cars were hit along Bethel Road last night. Sitting at a high school baseball game or church are probably two of the last places you'd think your car would be broken into, but that's exactly what happened Monday night. They're looking for a crime of opportunity. So we continuously tell people don't leave your purses, your laptops, things um, in view. Um, and if you have a firearm, be responsible as a firearm owner. Don't leave them up under your seat because these young men and women, that's exactly what they're looking to steal. About a dozen cars were also broken into here at Meadow Park Church during a women's Bible study. And just down the road, Columbus City Schools confirms that about 16 cars were broken into in the parking lot during a baseball game last night. CCS was told around the same time people were being shot at with paintballs. We've made some strides in arrests. Um, but as you know, with the juvenile justice system, we do have juveniles that we're talking about. So we're looking at ways with the juvenile judges, how can we create leverage where we save these youth from themselves? After a couple mass break-ins last month, CPD says they made some arrests. There's no word if they made any arrests from the break-ins Monday on Bethel Road. But CPD Assistant Chief Lashana Potts says you should do what you can to make sure your car is less attractive to these criminals. Don't leave valuables, especially guns, in your car. What we don't want is a youth to get a firearm, make a split second decision, and now their life as we know it is gone. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.